Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and this is Miss Cat. Say hi, Miss Cat. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I got you. Say hi. I've been trying all day. Okay, so today I have an Amazon personal shopper for you. <laughs> You know how I feel about the personal shopper. I do it because it's fun and it costs me like, what, six, five, six bucks a month. And you can, you know, just see what Amazon has to offer and what they will give you. I don't always find the best stuff on there. I mean, it is no Stitch Fix, but I like doing it. And it's interesting to see what they send me. Sometimes some really off the wall stuff. <laughs> if you want to try Amazon, Amazon Personal Shopper, Amazon Prime Wardrobe, any of that stuff, I do have links below so that you can go and try all that stuff out. It is an affiliate link, so it does help me immensely if you go and use it. Once you go in and use my link, no matter what you buy, it's a possibility I could get a commission. So I really appreciate y'all using my link so very much. You have no idea. It helps me bring you content. So I want to bring you more content. Of course, Amazon Personal Shopper is a try before you buy clothing subscription. You pay $4.99 a month and the Personal Shopper will pick you eight items and you have seven days to try them on. So sometimes they come in different boxes. This one, I think it was, yeah, four different packages for me. It's not my most favorite thing that they come in different packages. Cause then I'm like, is everything here? Is everything here? And it doesn't start your trial, your seven day trial doesn't start until your last item shows up. So let's just open some stuff up and see what we got. Now they do all come in these resealable bags. So you can use the same bag that they shipped it to you to send it back if you don't want to keep it. And I like that, but I do try to, you know, kind of label them and see what came in what bag so that if I ship everything back, it come, goes back in the bag. It just makes it easier for them to unbag and, and make sure you get credited and don't get charged for stuff you didn't keep. But if something like that does happen, which it does on occasion, all you have to do is reach out to them and say, hey, I sent that back to you. And most of the time they will not charge you for the item. So in this bag, we have three items and oh i need to look up in a return label i need to look up my um i always take screenshots of what the uh stylist said to me so i can read it to you while we're doing this and uh, i take pictures of the outfits that they suggested to me because i don't always get every piece that they suggest they suggest several different outfits and you get to choose what you want to have sent to you so I always have it to where you, you know, I'll pop it up on the screen over here somewhere so you can see what they suggested to me. It says, welcome back. Make some room in your closet for these hot new picks. In this collection, you will find fun and groovy pieces you'll definitely want to show off in, on your YouTube channel. Check out these Laurie felt bootcut jeans you can style these fun jeans with this Max Studio blouse and strappy sandals. Swap the blouse for this Lark and Row blouse and you have a whole new look. Another cute look with the boho flare is this Jessica Simpson blouse styled with these Lee jeans and Lucky Brand sandals. I hope you enjoy this collection. As always, please feel free to leave a feedback note so I can fi fine tune your future styling sessions. Take care, Brianna. All right, so the first thing in here that I see, it's actually a brand I really like. I like some, I've gotten jeans and things from them before, tops that really were that boho feel that I like. And so they sent me this one. It is a vintage America. It has that smoking I've kind of been digging and it does have a, I don't know, an interesting pattern. I don't know if I can say it's cute or not. For some reason, Sometimes I don't like them until I put them on. I have no idea why. But this is Vintage America Blues Woman Kelly Smocked Peasant Top within vines. And thrasic and thransite. I have no idea what that is. It's in an extra large. It is $32.22. 
it's 100% viscose. So, I mean, it's cute. I like it. It has a three quarter sleeve and it has a little ruffle there with a little elastic. Look, we're gonna have to see what this looks like on. I am intrigued. We'll say I'm intrigued. This one is an NYDJ women's classic lawn shirt in optic white, extra large. It is $46.25. Oh boy, did it come wrinkled. So they have it tied in the front, but it looks like you could unbutton it and just have it regular. I've been looking for a great white shirt, something that I could, you know, wear under sweaters, things like that. Just, you know, I love that look with that little collar sticking out of your sweater. I just think it's cute. So, you know, maybe even a little of the sleeve sticking out of your sweater, folded up like this. So we'll have to see how, what it looks like on. It seems pretty thin feeling, which is not always a bad thing when I wanna wear it underneath stuff. Reshape and lay flat to dry, cool iron if needed. <laughs> it looks like it needs a cool iron, huh? It really does. That's the problem is I need to iron. But to have a shirt like this, I think I'm gonna have to steam or something. We'll see how it looks on. Then we have this Jessica Simpson. It also has a little smocking on the shoulders. It has it right here around the waist. Cute cute little vintage sleeve there. Very, very cute. Um, they send a lot of Jessica Simpson and I don't always love her stuff, but this isn't too bad actually. Um, I like it when I thought I would and I think this little sleeve with the rickrack on it kind of sold it for me because I have been putting rickrack on uh, those little dresses I've been making. And I just think they're so adorable in this just different pattern with the rig right. It's kind of cute, okay? This is Jessica Simpson's Women Scarletti Smock Waist Top Frozen Dew Wired Florals Extra Large 4542. So I am curious. I'm curious to see how this is going to look on. In my next box, I got some shoes in here. Life Strides Women's Kelly flat sandals, tender toe, seven and a half in a narrow, cause I've been trying to get narrow in my sandals. And these are $33.94. So cute little strappy sandal, now that I'm in the mood for boots, because you know, fall, but yeah, soft. I think I got cat fur on my face. I like these, they look cute. I mean, they're, they, they're just, uh, you know, adorable. Step Bounce Stride. <laughs> That's cute. Comfy on the inside. I hope they I hope they're as comfy as they feel. This is a Lucky Brand Extra Large Women's Solid Sleeveless Romantic Ruffle Top Cherry Jubilee Extra Large. $54.36. I do like Lucky Brand on occasion. I don't know if I'm gonna love the silhouette of this one. In the past, shirts like this, I haven't liked simply because of my top size, but we'll see. I've also heard some people say they love them, but it, gosh, it looks like it needs an iron or something. It's kind of wrinkly. And I don't love it when they show up wrinkly because it means I'm gonna have to iron it if I keep it. So let's keep moving on. All right, last three items. This is Amazon brand Lark and Row Women's Georgette Bate Neck Smock Peplum. I don't think I said that right. Um, eh, just okay. I don't. I don't have to see it on. But it's. You know, smocked a little up here, it's smocked a little right here, and it does have that peplum look to it, which in a way I like and in a way I don't. I actually have a denim jacket in there that's peplum I really liked. I don't know if it's gonna fit anymore. This is $34.40. It is Sin Boutique Floral. We'll try it on. We'll see what happens. This is Max Studios. Women's Ray on split neck flutter sleeve top baked apple medium 
Roseberry in extra large. It is $30.50. I like it a little better. It's cute. It's got the cute little ruffle up here. It's got a little bit of a ruffle sleeve. I just like the pattern on this one a little better. So we'll see how it goes. What do y'all think? And the last thing on here are the Lari Felt Women's Classic Denim Boot Cut Jeans br uh, Brushed Dark Size 12. These are $53.70. Good cut. Big boot cut. I've never tried this brand before, so I am curious. And look at this on the back. Isn't that cute? That's kind of cute. So, not hating them yet. Not hating on them at all. We'll see how they do. I'm going to try all this stuff on for you. Alright, I will see you back in a second. Alright, so here is my outfit of the day. And I've already forgotten what I'm wearing. <laughs> All right, so this is what I'm wearing for today. This is a Queen 1804 top. Uh, I will put where I got it and all that good stuff down below. These jeans are cut from the cloth. Also, I will put where I got them and everything down below. I can't remember if I got this at Maurice's or Torrid. I don't remember. I got these from Rock's Box. All right, let me try some stuff on for you. All right, so overall, I think this outfit is pretty cute. Um, but there are a few things. Uh, first off, please excuse the fact that I did not change out of my black bra. I didn't feel like it. <laughs> but, I mean, it's cute. It is a little low. But I think it fits pretty flattering. It's, it's got my, my boho vibe I like very much. What do y'all think about the top? Um... I'm surprised you can't see the black bra through it more. Maybe you can on camera, but you sure can't in my house. All right, the pants, I don't like the rise of them. They stop right here, which is, you know, a normal rise, but that's right there where the muffin top will stick out. I like a high rise. That's just, I like a high rise, that's all it is. But they are cute, they fit very nice, and angle you down just so you can see the shoes too. Please ignore any mess. And now I know that if I need to, I can pull off a petite. Now the shoes, let me just do this so you can see. I think they're cute, but if I was going to keep them, I actually think I would half size down because when I go back, you can barely see my toes and I feel like they would flop up. So maybe seven and a half in sandals is not right for me. Maybe I've just been telling them the wrong size for a sandal. Now in a tennis shoe, I definitely would have to get seven and a half with my toes on, you know. I wanna think about things. I don't know. What do y'all think? I mean, they're cute, but it's kinda of getting out of season for that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna keep trying on. But that's the whole outfit as she had it. Um, put out for me and then this other top was an option for this outfit too let me try it on all right so here is the other option which I don't think it's bad but I don't love it either I mean I do think it minimizes how large I am right here and kind of blends it but you can see my bra from the sides I don't know I'm gonna need y'all's help on this one what do y'all think about this top is it a keeper or a send it back it looks cute in the back <laughs> All right, let me move on. All right, I thought this was adorable, but then I went like this. <laughs> now, if I was wearing a higher jean, it might not be a, such a problem. I think it's supposed to go up like that. I don't think it's supposed to be pulled down low. Um, but super cute, super boho. I just would have to wear the right jean with it, and it's actually a little hot. Um, what do y'all think? Is this worth keeping? Or is it just going to be too much trouble to make sure I get the just the right jean that's up high enough that I am not going to show my belly to anybody? Because I don't do that normally. Y'all are the only people who see that stuff. 
<laughs> yeah, I picked a small group, didn't I? <laughs> All right, let's move on, because I, I just don't know. I mean, it's cute, yeah, but uh, it's just so short. Just a little longer. I mean, come on, why can't they make them just a little longer? The sleeves are plenty long and cute. You definitely see my bra all through this one. <laughs> all the patterns and everything. But it is a cute white shirt. I mean, not too bad. I mean, I just have to worry about the um, iron of it all. But if I'm putting a sweater over the top of it, would it really matter? I don't know. It's pretty cute. look like if I unrolled it. She had it double rolled. Let's untie it just, just for the fun of it, you know. But I think it's supposed to be tied. Look how it's cut, y'all. It's supposed to hang like that. Have you seen them? They, used, they were doing this for a long time. They were tucking in one side and even the other side untucked and wearing them like that. I never quite got it. Never quite got it. Yeah, I definitely think it's supposed to be tied. And I could always tie it lower if I needed to because... No, I'm thinking about this. What do you think, y'all? And if you don't like this, that's all you got to do. <laughs> all right, let me get next. All right, I'm kind of digging this one. What do you think? It's got a little swing to it. It's got a little smocking to it. Got a little sleeve. This isn't too bad, actually. I was afraid I'd hate it, but I put it on, and sometimes I think the silhouette fits me. I'm like, I don't care about the pattern. But, I mean, not too bad. Tell me if I'm crazy, y'all. You know I want to know. But I'm thinking about it. The only thing about these is sometimes they make you look like you're expecting. But maybe I'm not in the mood to care. <laughs> I think I got one more. I don't think this one's going to work for me, y'all. <laughs> I got tangled in it, putting it on. And, you know, if I put this maybe over my boobs a little more then it doesn't show my bra as much but i mean you can definitely tell that sucker stretch tight it's i just i'm too deep chested i mean too big chested for this i had to like take the girls and pull pull them up <laughs> to get this working so yeah this is a no for me <laughs> it's just no I, I i'm not one of these girls who wants show off they pretty lingerie which is what I'd have to do to make the shirt look right y'all uh -uh. <laughs> no <laughs> no 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 yeah. all right so we are back for the review on this Amazon personal shopper um I have mixed feelings some of it I loved some of it I didn't love some of it I think well maybe I should get it a different size and then I'm thinking well you know it's kind of in a season so maybe I shouldn't that's where I'm at with these shoes I think if it was beginning a season I would have sized down in these and probably loved them because they feel like they would have just a little you know cushioning in there they would go with anything because they're this you know nude color um how much were they 33 bucks I know I'm gonna send them back now and I may wish I had them next season but then again I could always find them again next season so probably just gonna send these back even though this bottom here is really soft like suede soft feeling but I'm gonna send them back I'm in debate about this shirt as well I mean part of me thought oh it was cute I wish it was a little softer it's more that cottony linen-y not scratchy but it may bother some people if you're a little more sensitive to materials 
but I thought it was cute. It is kind of holding on to lint a little bit is what I'm seeing. So I'm not sure. I really need y'all's opinion on this on if I should keep this one or not because I just don't know. I can't, I can't decide. Um, I, if I do keep it, I'll definitely have to get that steam cleaner out of the attic. <laughs> steam cleaner you know the steamer where you you iron by steam because i can't um, the iron thing with the ironing board it's just not me it's really really not me this one i liked a lot better than i thought i would i am gonna watch back and see my, my lights up again Sorry. this one i am gonna watch the video back and see sometimes watching yourself on a video gives you a whole different angle of just looking in a mirror and seeing what something looks like on you and that's one reason why i like to do this i can watch myself on video and see what i really look like in it but in the mirror it looks pretty good so y'all let me know if you think keeping this would be a mistake or not uh how much were you 30 36 dollars it's the vintage american one i should have known i was gonna like it <laughs> Um, this one, although super cute, I just probably won't keep it simply because it was so short and I'd be afraid that I would be, you know, showing my belly. But otherwise, I thought it was pretty cute. It's just, it's not for me. So I'm probably going to send this one back for sure. You know, this pink thing is going to go back because that just didn't fit. <laughs> it just didn't fit at all. Um, I'm going to send the jeans back because I didn't like the rise of them. Otherwise, they were really cute and really comfy. I just, it was the rise that bothered me. This one, I'm probably going to send it back to. I just, it didn't, I didn't love it enough. Unless I watch the video back and I'm like, oh my goodness, it looks great. I'll probably just send this one back. But this one here, I may keep. I thought it was kind of cute. So that's kind of where i'm at in my head possibly keeping these three tops and everything else will be sent back so let me know what you think if i'm doing the right thing or not my hair's going all flat <laughs> um i always want to hear y'all's opinion on how you think everything looks on me if you think it's worth the try or worth sending back so let me know comment below Give this video a big thumbs up. You know, me and Callie always really appreciate all the thumbs up, all the comments. We love it when you subscribe. We love it when you push the notification bell so that you get all our videos. We appreciate y'all so very much. Isn't that right, Miss Callie Cat? Hey, isn't that right? Say yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day and God bless.